All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and start my timer, set for 10 minutes. I'm gonna cut the stove on high, this part right here. While that's heating up a little bit, I'm gonna go ahead and open up my rice. Because this is just gonna go into the, remember this rice is already cooked. So I'm gonna try to break it on up. And you notice I have it um, not bunched together, I had it in a small, even layer. That makes it so it's easier to defrost. And I'm just gonna go ahead and crumble it up some. And you don't have to do this, but I do it. I'm just crumbling it up so there's, it's all done. You have to, I'm cooking with my mask on. So my voice may be a little muffled. All right, that's broken up pretty good. Put the lid on, and that's gonna go in the microwave for four minutes, and that should be done. All right, now for the oil here, I am not going to be measuring it, just so you know. There we go. I'm not gonna measure how much oil I'm putting in. I'm just gonna go and sprinkle around the pot. A good indicator that it's done is when you move it around, the oil should move around very freely. Like the oil's moving, but it's not moving as fast as I want it to. So I'm gonna let that go for just a second. And then while that's going on, I'm gonna go ahead and start chopping up some of this chicken and I'm gonna come on back to it. All right, I just moved the camera so you can see me chopping it up. Here's the thighs here. And I'm just gonna cut it in between. And these are thighs that I actually roasted in the oven. I cooked them in the oven. And these are four of them. And this is going to feed a family of nine. So you could chop them really thin and make a bunch of thin ones, but I think uh, why not? Now, I'll make it so that we can, it has some depth to it. So I won't cut it too thin. There we go. And the pan is done, so let's move over to that real quick. So this is what I'm going to be doing. Okay, see how the, it's just moving? That's what I'm looking for. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to start making my gravy. So I'm going to put my onions in. These are already put my butter in now and I'm going to put my flour in. Now this is around a little less than half a cup. I'm going to go ahead and put half of it in or a little more than half. Three fourths of it in and I'm just mixing it up and I'm going to go and put the rest of it in. Fill out, put it back in. So I'm gonna let that sit for a second, less than a minute. And while it's doing that, I have the camera on there so you can still see it. Right now I'm cutting up the, finishing up cutting up the thigh meat. Pre-cook. And I'm going to come back over here and I'm going to give it another mix. Now what I'm going to do, I would say maybe this is around two cups worth of stock. Uh, I'm going to go in and pour it in. That was half of it, and it just dinged. We're five minutes in, the rice is done. It just dinged in the microwave. So I'm mixing it around. 
making sure there's no lumps. And I'm gonna pour the rest of it in now. And I'm using my hand as a strainer so the vegetables don't come out, but the juices do. There we go. I want the juice. There we go. Right now we're five minutes in, cooking wise. Here's my cream of chicken. I'm gonna put that in soon. And then I think I'm gonna add some milk to it. Why not? You don't have to, but I'm going to. So the rice is done. Half of our meal is finished. There we go. And you don't have to, but I'm going to try to get as much of it out as I can. There we go. Thank you. That's very thick. That's what I want. Now to thin it out more, I'm going to go ahead and add some milk. I think I'm going to put one cup in. You put one cup in there. And I may add a little bit more. Now on my clock, I still have three minutes. I think I'm gonna put another half a cup in. Depends on how much gravy you want. That's what's cool about making your own food. And I still gotta finish up cutting up this meat. So let me finish it up. So you can see that while that's going. Just slicing it in half so we can have more meat. I still have some of this right here in here so I'm thinking I want to get that flavoring so I'm gonna pour some of the milk in here give it a little shake pour that in try to get some of that flavoring for when I season the meat It's almost been 15 minutes or 10 minutes. So I'm gonna go on and put this in. Put that in. Put that in and put that in. <laughs> 38 seconds in till it's 10 minutes. vegetable we got our starch we are actually pretty good I should have got it in sooner but this is all real time so I'm down to 10 seconds now you could say this is done so I'm not gonna say this was 10 minutes it probably could be 10 minutes if I wasn't taping and stuff but that's the time of 10 minutes I'm gonna go in and give myself two more minutes so this will come to a little bit of a boil so the stuff can marry it into each other. But this is done, pretty much. So I may still say 10 minutes, because you could serve it, but now nah, I'll just do 12 minutes. But look, we have our rice is done. 
Rice is done, nice and hot. And all we have to do is just put it over it. And cleanup is so nice. See, we're not even two minutes. Um, this has only been a couple of seconds. And look at it, this is ready. So it's not even 11 minutes. Look at that. Let me cut it down. I've been cooking on high this whole time. You don't have to do that. I'm going to go ahead and cut it down to medium high right now. Yeah, but that's as thick as I'd like for it. This is a win. And cleanup is so easy. And while that's going on, I'll go ahead and clean my dishes, my cutting board. You can watch that as it cooks a little bit. Cleaning my knife right now. And cleaning my cutting board. Be real hard or stressful. My knife, letting that cook a little bit more. We're down to 20 seconds. So this is all real time. Cool. There we go. And I'm just going to cut it off. Hear that there we go so this was all 12 minutes and look at what we have we have a delicious good meal we got our vegetables we got our starch we got our meats and our beans and cut that off and we're finished so I will plate it up and I will let you see what it looks like but yeah And I'm done with cleanup, basically. I'm going to put the milk up. So prepping may seem time consuming, but you saw just how much time. It's like if you're going to make some meat, make a lot. And freeze it. Like I did with the meat. The chicken that you saw, I cooked 40 pounds of it. Which for my family of nine gave me 20 meals. Of four... And it could have been a little bit more because some grabbed some and ate some in the family. So it may have been 21 meals. Probably would have been 21 meals. Packs of four. But this is done. We have the rice and we have this. Nothing to be ashamed of. Good food with not so much time. All right, so I'll have it go ahead and plate it up. So this is how I have it set up. I have it in one of the crock pots. There it is there. And then the rice, I took it out of container because I tried to make it so it's easy as possible. I have it in a to-go container. And here's the rice in here. So everyone can just come, make their plates, and I have it on warm so that it can stay warm. And then whenever I'm done with it, I can easily just take it right out of here and the crock pot will be clean. And I can go ahead and um, easy clean up. So let me go ahead and plate it up. All right, here it is plated up. There's the meal there. I'm trying to get out of the way so you can see how better lighting. There's the rice there. And it's not just, I made it flavored rice, so I put seasoning and stuff with it. Um, bleats, um, I made it with some, like, some stock instead of just water. But here it is, this is my mom's plate here. She doesn't like um, rice. So I went ahead and gave her some macaroni. But there it is there, and you can see the bigger chunks of meat. There are some of the beans, some of the peas. You really can't see the corn, but that's okay. But here's another plate here. So, there's dinner. And you saw it did not take long. Around 13 minutes. Or, I say 13 minutes. Around 12 minutes. You could even say 11 minutes, but we'll say 12. So anyway, thank you so much for watching. Take care and God bless.